Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint and today we are doing a very fun... <gasps> yes, I was hoping you would do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be painting some dogs and I don't know if you have dogs, or you might be a cat person. We also have some cat projects, but I'm so excited to be painting this with you. And we got a few new fun things that we're gonna be using. So first is this cool fan brush. Look Ooh, at that. Fan four. So we're gonna be using that to make the texture and the fur of our dogs. So we have that. We will still be using our, our bigger round paintbrush that we like to use. And then we're doing watercolors today. So we're mm. going back to watercolors so we have Rose red, we have a dandelion yellow. So grab a red, a yellow. I may be using blue, maybe not. Um, sepia, which is a brown or sepia. And then Payne's gray, or if you have black, cause one of our dogs is this light gray. So I'm gonna show you how to make that. So grab out your watercolors. And then you also see, let me pull this back in, is we added some fun, a comic book look. And so you can either use pens or I have some crayons handy with me to be able to use that and to add some of the finishing touches. So those are the supplies. And then the last thing is you'll see that this comes with an outline. So this was already printed on my watercolor paper. Now, if you don't have this, but you want to join us, go to our website at letsmakeart.com and go to our, our outline library and you can type in doodle dogs and you can get this for free doodle and paint dogs. along with us. And then let me introduce you to our dog noise in the back. I'm not sure. <laughs> this is Keenan. Hello. Our cameraman, so he'll be painting along with you and I today. So the first thing is, is we're gonna mix some colors. Now, like I said, you may have a dog and you might be like, Nicole, I wanna paint that dog the same color, this dog, the same color as your dog. So you can do that. Now, if yours is a golden, a golden doodle like this one, and actually we're gonna show a picture of, this is Birdie, who is Sarah, Cray, and Michael's dog. Such a pretty dog. <laughs> so you may have a dog that looks like this, but we're gonna paint Birdie for right now. So I'm gonna mix two different colors. I'm gonna mix a little bit, let's do, I'm gonna do five drops of my yellow, so equal parts yellow and equal parts sepia to make, I don't want really a bright yellow, I want to have a little bit of warmth to it, so I'm gonna do equal parts, so I did five yellow, so that came out really, really fast, so we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna mix my sepia, so my brown and my yellow, and I'm gonna grab my round brush and I dipped it in water and I'm gonna mix it. So the cool thing about that I like this palette is there's these little wells, and then I'm gonna see what color we got. So that's a little brown right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over here and let's put some yellow in here. So I kinda just want like a golden color. So that's a little bit more of what I would like. Now again, your dog, I want you to mix any color if you have your dog, maybe you have a photo of him handy or her, so what we're gonna do is first step is I want you to use your round brush and we're gonna do a base layer. So take your color, whatever color you have, and you're just gonna paint. And I want you to go outside of the lines mm -hmm. for this one or overlap the lines. The cool thing is that we're gonna add some texture at the end and dog fur actually goes everywhere. I mean, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's not a perfect straight line. Mm -mm. So our paintings do not need to be perfect either. And we don't, we always, just say we wanna make you to make this your own and to go for it. So I am just doing the base layer. I'm going around the eyes and going around the nose and then gonna paint the body. And if you need to add some water, we're doing watercolor, so it may need some water to kind of paint and go. Okay, so I'm gonna move kind of quickly. So we have our base layer. Now, clean your brush. I'm gonna put it back in my brush basin and I'm gonna go to my fan brush. Now here's the thing about this is, it's actually good, we have this darker color. So I want you to make a little bit of a darker color if you don't have that already. And you're gonna dip it, your brush in water, but I want you to hit it off the side. I don't want it too wet. And even at that, I'm a, I have a paper towel handy. I'm just gonna kinda damp, or get a little bit of it off. So what I want you to do is I want you to dip in your color 
But here's the thing, when you have the color, is it really gets soaked into the brush. So we don't need a lot of paint. I'm just gonna kind of go like this a few times. And that is what we're gonna do on our paper. Cool. So you're just gonna hold it upright, and I want you to really lightly, let's see what happens if we do it once. Maybe we'll do it on this bigger area. I want you to just really lightly touch. Oh, wow. So do you see that? Yeah. Do you see how I'm not pushing really hard? I'm just letting the bristles kind of dance on the page. Dance, dance. <laughs> and because it's a little bit wet, it's kind of drying into the paper. So again, if you have a lot of color on yours, just kind of get a little bit of it off. And I'm gonna add some more to the ears. So when you're doing this, if you think, okay, if I were to paint, it's gonna make this really big spot. So if I turn the brush a little bit, kind of like that, Maybe do some lines like that. But you're making these quick movements on your paper. Now your dog may be more curly, maybe. Oh, that could be. So maybe you do some, some little swirls on it. Yeah, because there's a lot of doodle mixes. Yeah, I don't, I, uh, can you tell us There's all the over ones? 40. Whoa! Yeah, golden doodle, labradoodle, bernie doodle, cockapoo, sheep a poodle, Sheep a doodle, <laughs> schnoodle, cavapoo, Aussie doodle, malty poo. There's so many. Whoa, I had no idea. Yeah, they're all just different mixtures and breeds probably of different colors. Oh yeah, so many different colors. Cool. Oh, so pretty dogs. Okay, so there we go. So you, yours may look a little bit different than mine, and I love that. But do you see how I left some yellow behind it? So I didn't do the whole thing. I just did little light strokes that you can see some of the fur. So if you wanna do another layer, if you have a little bit of a darker brown dog, maybe you add a little bit more layers to that. And also, I know we're doing, it's called doodle dogs, but this may look like your dog and your dog may not be a doodle exactly. So you can still do this project along with us. So let's go to our next one. So this one is inspired by Merle. So we'll show a picture <laughs> of Merle. Merle. So this is Elizabeth's dog and I thought it was cool because I can teach you how to make a light color. So if you have a light gray dog, I'm gonna grab my Payne's gray and I just need a little bit and we're gonna go back. So we're gonna repeat the same step. So we're gonna do the base layer. So that was using my round brush. And if I were to paint with, I know this is called gray, but this is really dark. Do you see that? Yes, very dark. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna add some water from my cup to here and I'm gonna kind of mix it over here. And I'm just adding water. So the trick for anything, if you ever wanna make a lighter color with watercolor, is you add more water. And you see how it's already getting lighter? Yes. So I'm, again, I'm using my round brush and I'm gonna paint my base layer. So whatever color dog you wanna do, paint your base layer. I'm gonna go around the eyes again. So this is such a fun thing. We're switching between brushes. I'm so curious, we wanna know if you have a dog or a cat, like we said, we have some cat projects, is we want and we want you to share a photo. Yeah, show us what you got. <laughs> of you and your dog. Do you have a doodle? Yeah, if you have a doodle, that'd be fun. Or a Dalmatian. I used to love Dalmatians. Those are beautiful. Such beautiful dogs. For a while, Dalmatians made me want to be a firefighter. <laughs> yeah, why is that? Why I are they know. associated? I do kind of think of that too. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so we got our base layer. So I'm gonna put my brush back and I'm gonna clean my brush cause it might have a little bit of the yellow. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing. So Merle is that light color and then he has a little bit of the darker gray. So let's see what happens if I were to do some gray. Now here's the thing, let me show you on the back of here. Is again, I don't want you to push really, really hard because it's gonna smush the mm. brush. So let's really lightly see what happens. I just go like this. So do you see the difference? Oh yes. So just really lightly. Now the more water you have, 
the more it will be more like that, whereas the less water you have, the more you can see your lines. So, so you get to, you kind of get to be the artist and see what happens. And also sometimes the brush may do whatever it wants to do. And that's fun too. That's true. <laughs> so Brushes have a mind of their own, little known fact. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it straight up and down so I can just really lightly touch my paper. So I'm just gonna add some fur to Merle. <laughs> He's looking good. Give him some hair. So again, I my brush might do the whole thing, so I'm just gonna turn it a little bit, give it some lines. So again, remember what I said, where it's okay if it goes outside the lines, because our fur does that. So maybe give it a little bit more. Let's see, I think Merle's kind of goes like this around. So whatever direction is the direction that your lines are gonna go. <laughs> Looks very wise. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> you think it's the gray or the hairstyle? Oh, it might be the gray because he looks old and wise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so the other fun thing is you may want to add in some other color. So maybe Merle kind of has a little bit of brown, so maybe we'll give him a little tint. Ooh. Add in some other color here. So you can have fun. And again, everyone's is gonna look so different just by the way that you're painting and the colors that you're using. And everyone's dog looks so unique to them too. True. That's very true. And here's one other thing I wanna show you is I'm actually gonna do a little bit darker right here. So this is the nose right here. So it's actually um, poking out a little bit further. So you'll see a shadow. I don't know if you can even see it on my face. My, it's poking out a little bit where there's might be a little bit of a shadow right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my darker gray, maybe some brown, and right underneath, I'm gonna add some more. Oh, I got a lot of brown, that's okay. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker down there. So that will kind of create this depth and it will help our eye see that there are two different parts. Planes. Yes. So let's do that. So again, I'm just really lightly touching my paper. There we go. And nice. maybe you do the same thing to your other one. Maybe you add a little bit more darker right there. So you can, you don't need to do too much. You can, you can add more if you would like. I kind of like seeing the different types of textures and on Merle, he has a lot of different colors going on. So I'm gonna leave that like that. Okay, now clean off your brush. I'm gonna put it back in. So the next step is, is, oh, I drew a little tongue on him. So. We have rose red, so if you have a red, I'm gonna use rose red, but do you remember the magic trick for to make it lighter? So if I wanna make pink, what do I do? Add water. Yes, so I'm gonna dip my brush in water, add some water over here to my red, because I want it to be kind of a pinky color, and then I'm gonna paint the lips, or the, <laughs> the tongue. The tongue. <laughs> Add a little playfulness to it. Cute. There we go. Okay. Now, I know you may look and be thinking, my dogs look a little weird. <laughs> so, the next step is, is we're going to do the eyes and the nose. Let's see, is this? It's actually okay. Well, so, if it's wet, I want you to take a snack break. But for right now, mine's actually good. So, I'm going to go back. So, I'm going to let this dog dry. So, I'm going to move back over here. So, I'm going to start with the eyes. Now, for the eyes, what I like to do is I like to add two more circles. So I'm gonna do a bigger circle inside the circle and then do a smaller circle, like kind of below it next to it. And then I'm gonna fill it in. And this kind of adds a little shimmer or highlight to the eye. And if you color it in, it's okay. Just have a little dot. It may be really small and that's okay. So there's one. Oh, look, our dog's already coming to life. Yeah, he is. So, Draw two circles, color it in. And I'm using a crayon. I don't know if I said that before. I'm using a crayon. I was just gonna say how fun is it to use watercolor and crayons. Yeah. And you probably have crayons lying at home. 
some color on the nose. But if you have markers, you can do that. If you're like, I really like watercolor, you can also do that. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do on Birdie's nose, there's kind of the nostrils. So maybe you add in some color right there. Then if there's a smile or if you wanna outline, maybe you over the, the outline, you kind of add some more fur texture. You can have fun by adding this. But the cool thing is that it's kind of just adding more layers to it. Do you see how it kind of brought that to life? Do you see the difference so between this So much one? difference. Yes. Okay, let's do this one. Yep, he's good. So we'll repeat the same steps. So I'm gonna do the eyes, color it in. It really adds kind of a cartoon look too to them. Just kind of fun. Yeah, it does. That makes sense then, because I feel like comics and cartoons sometimes have the same art I, style. Yeah. And that's kind of what it looks like. Yeah. Where it has that kind of glimmer to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's add some lines. So when I do this is I'm just drawing really short strokes, kind of adding more texture. Ooh, yes, that's making Merle pop. Making Merle pop. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, now the very last step is this is, again, another time that you get to be creative. So what I thought, I'm gonna show you the example, is do you know the difference? And if you don't, I'm gonna teach you the difference between a thought bubble and a speech bubble. Ooh, yes. Yes. So a thought bubble is what the dog is actually thinking. So do you see how this one kind of looks more like a cloud? These two look like clouds. Mm -hmm. And this one has this triangle. And so it's more what it's talking. So since we can't exactly know what animals are saying or dogs are saying, your dog, I want you to write, think about what the dog may be thinking in, in reality. But then, in, or like, and then in reality, what he's actually saying is woof. Woof. <laughs> really loud. There you go. Nailed it. <laughs> so there's two different examples. Oh, and this also goes to show you that if you want to do this project again, you can do any different colors. I'm sorry I didn't show that in the beginning. Oh, those are cute colors. Isn't that fun to show that? Yeah. So these two dogs are thinking, let's play, That's and pretty. I will race you. And then the speech. So to do that, is I'm gonna do it on one side. So I'm gonna start with the thought and I'm gonna do two circles, two or three circles. And if, it, if it's easier for you, write out what they're saying. So what is this one saying, Keenan? Thinking or saying? Thinking. This one's thinking, there are a lot of lights in this room. It's bright. It's bright. Can I, can I shorten it a little bit? Yeah, it's so bright in here. <laughs> It is so bright. Oops, I did a capital B, that works too. Fun. So if you write it out, that may help. And then around it, you're gonna do clouds. So I'm just doing curves around what Birdie's thinking. It is so bright. But then the speech bubble is I'm gonna do a V coming on top of his head. And then let's do the same thing. So. But what actually we hear is the dog barking. And then for this one, instead of these cloud lines, I'm gonna draw an oval or a circle or whatever shape goes around it. Boom, okay. In response, what is Merle thinking? Hmm. It is so bright. Get is it gonna be related or is it gonna be literally different? Get some shades. Do you need some, or like sunglasses? Get some shades, some sunglasses. <laughs> do you have your Batmobile? Cause that's darker. <laughs> what? Which one do you want me to write? Uh, get some shades. <laughs> get some shades, bro. Get some shades. <laughs> <laughs> Pup. Pup. Oops. Okay, so I wrote my thing first. I got really excited. So I'm just gonna do my my circles there, and then around this, add the curves for the thought, and then the speech 
is a really big woof. 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 <laughs> yeah, deep one. Woof. <laughs> so adding my circle around it. Yes, <laughs> look at that. Now that's so much fun. So if you want, you can add more color in the background or I'm really excited. I'm gonna leave this like this. So again, there's so many different ideas, different dogs that you can paint. And I hope this was so much fun. I was so excited to design this box for you and I wanna see what you make. So we have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects. We have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids. Please share with us what your dogs look like. Maybe it's a photo of you and your dog and the painting you made. And this was so awesome. So thank you for being here. Always remember that you are brave, kind, and so, so creative. And I'll see you next time. Bye.